Hello you guys, it is me Moore here with some tarot tea. I do not own the rights to the music in the background. I am doing zodiac elements. I am now on earth signs. So let me go ahead and start out with my prayer. Dear Divine Creative Source of Everything, I thank you for the opportunity to connect with you through these cards. I call upon Archangel Michael, the Divine Spirit of Life, and my ancestors for protection as I go within the tarot to give you guys clear, honest, and accurate messages. So something is coming in fast for you guys. Um, immediately, I couldn't help but to think I wanted to smoke when I got to you guys' energy. So I feel like something in here is having you guys' nerves rattled. Or you just have bad nerves. So something is significant to she got her own. There's nothing that's more sexy. Or he could you could be a he in your feminine energy. Let go on the bottom of the deck. Somebody here is afraid that you're gonna let them go, or you have officially let go of someone from your past, and this is driving them crazy they love you because you got your own ask your angels if you believe so you need to ask your angels and communicate clearly about something that is going on within your life i feel like you need to believe in yourself a little more yeah because take action was in reverse but I feel like you're ready to take action. You're just. You're just. I'm going to say not confident enough. Because I, I, there's nothing insecure <laughs> about, you know, some earth signs. Because, you know, all earth, I mean, I said all earth, all zodiac signs have good and bad, bad aspects to them. Clear, honest, and accurate messages, source. Abundance in reverse. So, something is going in reverse. I feel like somebody here is dabbling in a lot of, like, kundalini magic, um, birth chart magic, things of that sort. No. Somebody here is trying to hack someone's Akashic records. And someone's ancestors and spirit guides is telling someone, no, this is a warning. Okay? I feel like somebody here is also doing, like, love magic. Somebody here is doing something to get someone, like, imprisoned. This could even be, like, imprisoned within a certain circumstance. Orphan and beauty. So somebody here is doing beauty magic as well. Somebody here feels like an orphan. Something is also significant to 17 years ago. Someone here could also have a 17-year-old. I feel like someone here was left some jewelry from their guardian. I feel like somebody here wears like hair jewelry. Someone here's favorite color is red or burgundy, alchemy. Someone here's favorite color is purple and orange as well. I feel like hmm, witch's brew. Someone is brewing something in the background. Mm, revenge on the bottom of the deck. So somebody here is out for revenge. Um, the song that I'm hearing right now is uh, Pay Me Back in Blood. I don't even know who it is by, but basically he's like, you're going to pay me back in blood. Basically, I don't know, but I'll hear the beat in my head. That's interesting. Take off your mask. So somebody here, you've worn a mask your whole life, but it's only because... Wow. Walked out of heaven. Somebody feels like they walked out of heaven when they left you behind or when you left them behind. 
They walk down a lonely highway. They've asked God for forgiveness. They see the beauty within you now. Dreams. Someone here has big dreams. Someone here is connected to the fairy bloodline. You could also have like a jaguar spirit, um, excuse me, animal spirit or a tiger of some sort. Scribe or writer. Somebody here is going to be writing a book or you write songs, poetry, humor on the bottom of the deck. And it says, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So somebody here is choosing to focus on the lighter side of life. Because you know that there is a lot of people brewing up things in the background to try to tap into your abundance. They're trying to have your abundance at, at a standstill. Wow, abundance on the bottom of the deck. And it reads, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. And you really can. Somebody here is realizing this. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So somebody here, they're learning to accept accountability. Patience. They're learning to be patient with themselves and others. And it reads, I accept that everything happens in divine order. So something is going to be divinely orchestrated. Or something was divinely orchestrated. Perseverance. That came out in fire sign, I believe. And it says, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to do. So basically, and this was a different card um, than the other one that came out in fire signs. So somebody here definitely is persevering through a situation. And they are at peace. And they will have peace within this lifetime. 717 on the clock. You could be seeing that angel number. Death in the wheel. So there's something that is coming to an end and that is faded. Somebody don't know what to do but to get back right with you. They feel like they just walked out of heaven. Yep. The sun in reverse. Somebody here don't have any happy days when it comes to you. Once you left, that, that was it for them. Everything has become chaotic. Everything is out of balance for this person or you. Somebody is mourning someone from their past. So even if you guys broke up, this person is still hanging on. They never let go of you. Holding on to your love is what I heard. Mm -hmm. Somebody is having a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights. Um, the song that I'm hearing with these cards is Jacquees Who? Look that up. Yeah, the King of Wands. Somebody here is a very loyal lover. They may, they may be a little non-committal, but they're loyal. You could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. Definitely Leo's energy is here. Or you could have these signs prominent in your birth chart. The star. Aquarius energy. Somebody here is a rising star. The devil. Somebody here has felt caged and blocked their whole life. And I feel like somebody here is manifesting their deepest desires. Somebody here is also going to be a very powerful couple. Meet me in my bedroom. Somebody's about to create a... Um, I can't even think of the word. Uh, um, it's it's a legacy, but it's a more complicated word. I just can't think of it. But somebody here has a powerful soul tie with someone here. I feel like this is definitely a rebirth, not just a death. 
two of swords. Somebody here is not know, not knowing which way to take, which decision to make. I mean, excuse me. Oh, okay, the hangman. Somebody here has a renewed perspective about something or someone. I'm feeling like somebody here, you, you deal with cameras. Like you can be a video editor or a model or, you know, a content creator. Someone here is also like a tattoo artist. Somebody uses their body as a... Expression. Let's go ahead and get these names. So somebody here wants you to meet them in their bedroom, huh? Clear, honest, and accurate the names, of course. Some of these names keep coming out, though. That's a lot, but I'm gonna take it. This might be the longer, longest reading. Somebody is your son. Mm, so somebody might be finding out they got a son. <laughs> Albert. These are gonna be first, middle, or last names. Tamika. Seth. Denise. Parker. Kim. Kira Thompson, Reggie, don't be late, Diane, somebody here may be late, Nash, Milani, Sparkle, Rebels, did I say Ronald, Janet, you're everything that somebody's been searching for. Kanisha. More. Downs. There's no need to search no more. Parrish. Jarvis. Iva. Bullock. Somebody feels like you're their baby. McGee. Zeta. Shay. Hannah, and last name out is England. Thanks for watching.